Hey guys, back out here at my mom's. Uh, I suspect her unit is uh, low on charge. So now that I got the Testo 550s, uh, me and Fritz are going to check the charge on it. I just got me a PRH2 so we can check the target superheat. Get it dialed in. Okay guys, uh, let me get all this set up. and I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to do a little cleaning on the evaporator. It's gotten a little dirty and I want to do that before we, we check our charge so everything will be good. And I cleaned the condenser there in that last video which was just a few days ago so it's good and clean but I want my evaporator coil to be clean so I'm going to do that first. Guys I'm going to mix me up a little uh, coil cleaner here. Spray on that evaporator. not going to mix up a whole lot because it goes a long way. It's probably enough right there. Just add a little bit of water to that. Add it kind of slow so it won't foam up on me. Don't want to foam up till it hits the coil. You guys, I got my sprayer all pumped up here. I'm gonna spray a little on this dirty coil. It's foaming up good for me. Got to get it nice and clean. Up a bit here. I'm going to let that sit and then I'll give it a little bit of a rinse. You don't have to, it says you don't have to rinse it, but I like to flush it away with a little bit of water. There's that coil information if anybody's interested. Guys, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of brushing on this coil. Look at that. Drags it right out. That looks lots better there. I'm going to rinse it here and right inside the drain pan. I get quite a bit of stuff out of it, guys. Rinsing out the rinse the drain pan. Got quite a bit of stuff floating in it. Get that get those nice and clean. Don't that look better? A whole lot better back in there. Those little the side right where the coil meets that pan there was just a bunch okay, of stuff that right much there. Better, guys. That pan's nice and clean. Now I'm gonna flush out the drain line. Evaporator's clean. Okay guys, let me uh, set up a camera outside. I'll show you what comes out of it. You know me, gotta do it. Okay guys, here I go. I just do this kind of gently so I don't get water everywhere. Sound like it's running pretty clear. We'll see what come out of it out there. Okay guys, back in operation. Nice clean coil. That'll make our charge really accurate. Drain pan's clean. Alright, let's get after Got everything set up here to check the charge on this unit. The Testo 550 is ready to go. Got the refrigerant drum on the scale. Got my Rochester heating and air sticker. And I also got Rochester Heating and Air. Hey, Fritz. Hey, Ray. How you doing, brother? Pretty good. Looks like we got a mystery man with us again, man. Yeah, hey, it, mystery, uh... hey mystery man. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I like it to hear, Mr. Man. But, uh, hey, Ray, when you contacted me, I know, I know you had to go to a class and you couldn't handle everything at one time, but you told me it was just starting to freeze up, man. And I'm so proud of you getting your EPA license, man. Let me tell you this right now. My brother did a 99% out of 100. Thank you, Fritz. <laughs> Rock and roll. All right, brother. All right, man. Well, let's get this stuff started here. You got your testos hooked up? I got them hooked up, yes. Okay, and you got your uh, your refrigerant out there and all that good stuff. I know it's under charge because you're telling me. Well, I don't know that it's under charge, but it was freezing up, and you told me it was dirty in there. Did you get any footage of you cleaning that, uh, that coal out? Yes, I did. The coil is clean. Okay, rock and roll, rock and roll. All right, guys. Uh, I think Ray went out and also bought a new tool. What is that? What, what do you got there, Ray? Did you get you a PRH2, bro? I surely did. <laughs> All right, man. I think you need to go around the side of the house, fire the unit up, say hey to John Deere for everybody for me, 
and okay. uh, give me some wet bolt. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll be right back. We're going to do it right. Okay. With the, with the, with the HVAC, HVAC guide. guide. Yeah. Hey, John Deere. What you doing? Hey, guys. I got the PRH2 here getting my uh, indoor wet bulb. Looks like we're going to be 61. Taking in 75.5. Okay, Fritz, I got the indoor uh, wet bulb. What you got there, Ray? 61. 61 on your brand new PRH2, guys. Uh, did you set it to uh, outdoor uh, uh, dry bulb yet? Yes, I have it set for that. Okay, let's get our dry bulb and everything. And uh, you've already got your scale hooked up. Yes. Uh, and you've got your testos ready to rock. So let's get our uh, outdoor dry bulb. <laughs> I see John Deere back here. I think he's kind of sparked up. Well, not really. He's back there relaxing. Oh, is he? Well. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and get the test off. You got your, uh, you got your uh, scale hooked up right there. Let's uh, uh, let that go ahead and meet the ambient temperature, and then we'll, we'll plug it on in, guys. Plug it right on in. Yes, 83.4. 83.4. see anything anymore, right? Okay, point four, brother? Yeah, 83.4. Okay, I'm going to hit, uh, all I did was enter it in on my, my guide here. Okay. And I'm going to hit uh, enter. All right. All right, what's our, uh, what was our wet bulb, right? Did you say it was 61? 61. All right, guys. Go ahead and enter that. All right, Ray, we're looking, uh, we've got our outdoor uh, dry bulb, we've got our return air wet bulb, and what we're needing now, you got your test hose hooked up, let me, let me get the suction line pressure. Pretty interesting. Okay. 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 Yeah, 60.3.5, something like that. Okay. Superheat, 7.9, which is going to be 8. I know y'all probably can't 
Can y'all see it at all? No, it, well, it, you can just see the blue screen. That's all right, trust me. Yeah, it's okay. If not, do the math yourself, yeah. man, that's easy to do. Right. All right, guys, let's, uh, what this is telling us, which what I love about the HVAC guide, is uh, actual superheat is above the target superheat, which indicates what, Ray? It's undercharged. And undercharged, yes, sir. Add refrigerant until actual superheat matches the target superheat. Superheat after corrective measurements or taking repeat measurement procedures often as necessary to establish a refrigerant charge. Allow stabilization for 15 minutes. So we're shooting for uh, eight degrees subcooling, brother. All right, man. Let's uh, let's get everything hooked up. And we'll we'll get after it. All right, guys, we've got the HVAC guide out here. Ray's done took his brand new PRH2, got his 61-degree wet bulb. And what we're actually going to do is uh, we've got our design subcoin. It is 7.8. All right, Ray, you're low on charge, brother. You've got everything opened up. you got your scales there. Let's yeah. start doing some paper, brother. Open that son of a gun up, man. Okay. And do me a favor. Okay. Let's do a 10 count. 10, One, okay. 1,000. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. There you go. All right. We might be a minute, but we're we're gonna dial this puppy right in. We're gonna get to seven point eight. Okay. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, we'll be back after it stabilizes a little bit. All right, guys, we were shooting for eight. Our seven point eight. Mystery man said seven. I think mystery man is dead on. What you got there, man? Check it out, Fritz. It's right at seven now. Mystery man is the man, dude. He went old school on it. I use my HVAC guy. Ray, mama is dialed clean in, man, and I love how you weigh that stuff in. You're good to go, brother. It's on. It's up. It's over. It's done. Yeah, she's dialed into perfection now. It's the only way to do it. Yes, sir. Kentucky and Texas. That's right. Uh, Only way to roll. <laughs> That's why right, I got your sticker sir. on the unit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you, Mystery Man. I appreciate you guys helping me out and get her dialed in. You're very welcome, Ray. And, uh, man, I'm so proud of you what you've done to your mom's unit out there, that 521, that sure switch. You dialed it in, and you went and got your EPA license, man. <laughs> Rock and roll, Ray. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll holler at y'all soon. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, Fritz, what's going on, man? It's dropping. Hey, man, I thought we were charging beer can cooler. Oh, yeah. Oh, Both my goodness. Lies. We're good. We're good. Let it go. Oh, we're messing with you guys, man. Mm -hmm. We're doing a simulation here. Ray, show what's going on. Yeah, we got the half the condenser coil block, guys. We're just playing with you. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th of July, all my good friends. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so much.